A reading program, and part of that is guided reading, is very important for learners to develop these skills to read independently. It creates wonderful opportunities for teachers and children to enjoy books and share wonderful texts, but it also allows and gives the opportunity for children to broaden their vocabulary. So when you look at the Balanced Literacy Programme, in which guided reading fits, you're really trying to develop, first of all, that love for reading. Reading is not an easy skill to develop and your brain inherently is quite lazy. So you need to sort of make that reading something learners want to do, to motivate them, to instill a love for reading at a very young age. So that would be your first stage, like a reading two stage in the classroom and at home, hopefully as well. Then we move on to that shared reading where students starting to read more with the teacher. You're interacting with the text through questions. We're modeling effective reading, the skills, the strategies, but also the expression you use when you read aloud. So here, students are really involved in this reading process and hopefully we keep maintaining that positive attitude towards reading. Then we move on to guided reading. In a nutshell, guided reading is actually there to bridge the gap between that reading that the teacher is doing towards becoming independent readers where students can really apply their reading strategies and skills independently on any resource that they read. Guided reading offers an opportunity for those children to explore language and use language, particularly our second language learners. And this teaching of vocabulary in a familiar context has broken down so many barriers for, for this group of children. So they are now able to access text at their level at a more deeper and in a more meaningful way. So guided reading is a very important bridge to help them become independent, effective readers.